Well, hello students again, Mr. Eklund, back to look at our disc and our ring video. Which one rose higher up the incline, disc or the ring? And hopefully you have an answer. Let's go through and check it out. The easy way is to do it by energies. Over here, this has one half mv squared linear. It also has one half I omega squared rotary. It all goes to mgh1. There is an equation for this one. For this one, we have the same idea. One half mv squared linear kinetic. One half I omega rotary kinetic goes to m g h2. Let's go find out which one is more. Well, let's play with it. One half mv squared plus one half i for a disc, one half mr squared. I don't want to deal with omega. Let's change this. V is omega r. Omega is v over r. So it's going to be v squared over r squared equals to m g h 1. r squares cancel. We have 1 half m v squared plus 1 fourth m v squared equal to m g h 1. Add them up. This is 3 quarters m v squared going to m g h 1. There is an equation for velocity, or better yet, there's an equation for a height based on v. On this one, same thing. Let's do it. This is 1 half mv squared. This is 1 half i now for a ring, mr squared. mr squared. And then omega is v over r. v squared over r squared equals to m gh2. Let's combine terms. That's going to cancel. We have 1 half mv squared plus 1 half mv squared equals to mgh2. Add those up. mv squared equals to mgh2. There's our two equations. The mass here cancels. H2 on this one is going to be V squared over G. So for H2. On this one, we have the mass canceling. We have H1 is equal to 3 fourths V squared over G. You can see that this one's more than this one. Therefore, H2 is higher. H2 is higher. Answer is 3. That's by using energies. Kinetic going to potential. Kinetic going to potential. That's one way of doing it. The other way is by pure concept. When these are rolling, okay, when these are rolling, the division between Rotary and linear is linear is twice as much as rotary. Linear is twice as much. Over here for the ring, the ring it splits equally. Now they both have the same velocity, v, but this has more, that's one quarter, this has more rotational kinetic energy. Why? Because there's more energy stored in the ring because it's more rotational inertia. So when they're traveling at the same velocity, this has a higher rotational kinetic than the disc. Therefore, there's more energy stored in a ring because rotational kinetic energy is bigger as a concept. As a concept, again, there's more energy stored in a rolling ring than there is in a rolling disc. Therefore, the ring's gonna travel higher than H1. H2 is bigger. Anyway, that's video two. I hope it makes good sense to you. 
We have to pick up the concept. I'm done talking. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>